The Hebrew language has got no distinct article that is the or a. But the letter he defines the definite article, which in English would be the, called in Hebrew he hay yediyah. I'll repeat that. He hay yediyah. Without reference to the gender, the number at singular or plural, or the case of the noun. The definite he hayediyah generally precedes the noun, it goes in front of it, and usually takes the vowel patah. And the succeeding letter, the following letter, is marked with the dagesh forte. In other words, when the he is there, the following letter is in the syllable with the he. So we have hap paroth. Now in modern Hebrew this isn't done, and people will say haparot. But in biblical Hebrew, and Hebrew poetry relies on this, because the number of syllables in the word would be wrong if you didn't do it. So hap paroth, hap para, hag gananoth, hag gan. Noticing the double letter following the he ha yediyah. When the he hayediyah precedes a guttural, then something else happens. The he then assumes the vowel comets, as in ha or ha ein. Should the guttural itself have the comets, then the he hayediyah assumes the vowel segol, as in he hadar, he hadar, except when such a guttural is an aleph, and then they both have the comets, ha adam, ha adam, or in modern Hebrew, ha adam, and in the Ashkenazic pronunciation, ho'odom. When no certain person or thing is spoken of, then the he hayediyah is omitted, it's left out. And in like manner, it's in a similar way, um, nouns proper, or as we call them now, proper nouns, never have the he hayediyah prefixed to them, as in terach, yangakov, and Rachel. However, Adam, a man, Ish, a man, and Ish Shah, a woman, can take the He Hayediyah because it's not they're not proper nouns. Um, and that's the end of this section.